Spirits. Hi yogis, Carly and Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a star flow. So we'll be doing a uh, bunch of different variations of five pointed star pose. So we'll start though in the traditional variation of it. So step your feet out as wide as is comfortable. You can have a slight bend in your knees. That way you can make sure that your knees and toes are in line as you're doing this pose. Uh, you don't want your knees twerked in any kind of weird way. So start with that kind of bend in your knees, get uh, knees and toes aligned, really ground into the earth with the balls of your feet, the heel of your feet, make sure you're really kind of pressing back, you don't want to be leaning forward onto your toes, and then starting to extend your legs a bit straighter, lifting up tall through your spine, tall through the crown of your head, and reaching out wide with your arms, making sure that you're not crushing your shoulders to your ears, roll your shoulders back, open chest, Hands reach out long. And settling into your five pointed star. And then from here, we'll start activating our Mula Bandha breath. So think about inhaling to the base of your belly in a 360 direction. So filling your uh, base of your belly and breathing diaphragm with air. And as you exhale, squeeze all of that air in and up, kind of like you're squeezing out a tube of toothpaste when you squeeze it from the bottom up and exhale through your nose. So inhale again. Exhale, big sound as you exhale out through your nose and really extending into the floor with your feet, out long with your fingertips. Feeling all of your energy start to be cultivated just by reaching and extending while you're doing this breath. One more inhale and exhale here. And then we'll fold our star. We want to start with really bent knees, so bending your legs, bending your arms, folding forward, folding over your legs, grounding into the earth with your feet again, and then coming to that first edge of stretch as you exhale, finding a straighter position for your legs, and waving your spine long, folding over that first edge of stretch, making sure that you're keeping your hips square here, and keeping that Mula Bandha breath this entire flow. From here, bend your knees again. We're going to roll ourselves back up to our star. This time, though, reach your arms up, really extending to the Sky, feeling all that power coming to you from the universe. And from here, we can even take a little bit of a balance challenge. So bending into your right leg, you can stay here if that's enough for you. You can come onto your toes on your left foot or extend all the way up, balancing on your right leg, feeling all of that power and energy, and then exhale. Bend it back. Now we use the bent knees to give us momentum. You can do this, just uh, stick straight, but it's much harder. <laughs> so on the left side now, bending your left knee. Again, you can stay here if that feels good. You can come onto your toes on the right side or full balance. Ooh, takes a moment to find, find your balance here. Balancing your star. And exhale back to center. Now folding forward again. So again, starting with that bent knee position, waving your spine long, folding over, and then coming to that first edge of stretch. And from here, you can walk your fold. So coming to the right leg, walking over to the left. And back to center even do some ninja lunges here so bending your right knee getting to the left inner thigh and switching again maintaining this middle abundant breath he's not even after we're just doing some uh, light stretching and back to your folded star position And bent knees here, 
rolls you up all the way to your star, extend to the sky, and exhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste. Very nice. Now that we've got a little bit of a warm up, we'll take it to a deeper vinyasa. So from here, you're going to come onto hands and knees, and we're going to make our way into our downward dog. So strong fingertips, strong palms into the mat. Exhale, presses you back into your down dog position. You can start pedaling out your feet, warming up the backs of your legs a bit more. Then from here, slight bend in your knees, wave your spine long, just create space for your uh, neck and shoulders. Then exhale, letting your heels start to sink into the mat for your dog position. And then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Again, we're going to create some momentum and space. Lift the right leg to the sky. You're going to exhale, bending knees and elbows, and twist the right leg towards the right knee. Inhale back up. Exhale to the outer upper arm on the right side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. This time we'll come to a fallen star. So ground your back foot down like you're doing a warrior. Extend your right leg out to the mat. So pinky toe edge is on the floor. You can bend your knees a little, create some space. Really press away from the earth. And the left arm extends to the sky. Holding this balancing position for a couple more breaths. You can look up to the, your fingertips. You can look to the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then twisting back into that core plank position. Really lift in and up and step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. Settle into the pose for a moment. We'll do a couple of breaths of freedom. So inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, you can bend the back knee to create some space and then give yourself a hug. Inhale, open. Exhale. Last time. <clears throat> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands plant firmly onto the mat. Step back into your plank. And from here, come onto a side plank position. So feet are stacked. Really grounding into the earth with that right hand again, pressing away. Left arm can lift and you can come into your side plank star. From here, if it's easier, you can also do this with your right knee on the ground and leg lifting, but make sure you're pressing away with that top foot. Almost like you're trying to stand with the left leg. In whichever position you're in, make your way back to plank and exhale back to down dog. Pedal out your feet again. Then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows. Right leg lifts again. This time, open your hips to the side and let your right foot fall behind you. Stretching up the front of your leg, you're getting into your psoas. Very nice, coming back to dog. We'll do that on the other side. So bend, slight bend in your knees and elbows as you lift your left leg high. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest for core plank, but twist, left knee comes to right arm. Inhale, lift up, exhale, upper outer left arm really lifting in and up back to down dog splits and exhale twist again this time back foot comes down like a warrior left leg extends long pinky toe edge of the foot is pressed into the mat really grounding into the earth here lift yourself in and up extending your right arm to the sky for your fallen star Balancing here for a couple more breaths. Challenging all kinds of strength here. Coming back into your core plank, really lifting in and up to step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. We'll do that breath of freedom again. So inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, give yourself a hug. 
I like to alternate which arm is on top. So when I have my left leg forward, I do left, left arm on top for my hug. Very nice. Inhale and exhale. Firmly planted into your mat. Strong palms step back to your plank. And from here, coming onto our left side plank. So grounding to the mat again with your hand. Left hand presses you away. Really lift in and up, lifting away with your hips. And then right leg can lift to the sky for your side plank. Or again, you can do your side plank star on your knee. Whichever position you're in, though, hold it for a couple breaths. And then exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Tiny bend in knees and elbows. Left leg lifts. Open the hips to the side and just drop your left foot behind you for that wonderful upside down stretch. Awesome. Coming back to our down dog position. We'll do one waving vinyasa to sink all of that energy and power. So bend your knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga, hips hit the earth first. Inhale here, prepare, rolling your shoulders back. Roll yourself in and up to a cobra. You can be in a lower cobra, that feels better for you. And exhale all the way back to down dog. Now from here, walk your feet forward. We're gonna make our way into a seated position. So starting with right leg out long, we'll take our left knee, left foot, put it on the outside of the right leg. Sitting up tall, we'll add a spinal twist, so really grounding into the earth here with your right leg. We're gonna twist using your core strength. We're not gonna yank with our arms. <laughs> so start with core strength, and then you can hug your left knee into your chest and get a little bit deeper stretch in your outer hips. But the twist has come from your core. So again, we're not that's bad. <laughs> so twisting, the arm is just getting you a little extra stretch in your leg. Holding the stretch for a few breaths. Really sitting up tall through the crown of your head. Exhale back to center. From here, left foot now comes to the inside of the right leg. Knees laying down on the ground. From here, start with a bent knee first. We want to make sure that we have uh, good positioning here with our hips. So ground into the earth with your sit sits bones. Long spine extending through the crown of your head. Then lean yourself forward. So now we've got good position in our low back for a forward fold. And then you can find that edge of stretch with the legs. So you're not rounding over. We have a healthy spinal alignment for a forward fold stretch. You can even hook onto your um, foot if that's accessible to you. Get a little bit more flex and stretch your calf muscles more. Maintaining that Mula Bunda breath as we do these stretches. Walk yourself back up, and last but not least, we'll do a stargazer or gate pose. So hand reaches behind you, left hand reaches behind you, firmly plant into the earth again. You're gonna ground into the earth with your bottom leg, with your left leg here. Lift yourself up, so kind of like that uh, side plank position we had done, but definitely on our knee this time. And a little mini back bend as your art, heart goes towards the sky, gazing at the stars. And exhale, we'll switch sides. So left leg is out long this time, firmly planted into the earth, long spine. Right foot comes to the outside of the upper left leg. Sit up tall first, twist with your core strength using your oblique and side body muscles. Then you can hug your right leg to your chest with your, with your left arm to get that deeper stretch in the hips. And you can complete the twist by looking over your right shoulder, maintaining that length in the spine. Last breath. 
back here. Gently release that. Right leg comes to the inside of the left foot now. So right foot's just above the knee. Start with bent knee in the left leg. Ground your sits bones, long spine, then lean yourself forward, finding that healthy alignment for your forward fold, then finding that edge of stretch for the leg. So it can still be bent. If that's where your stretch is, that's where your stretch is. Hang out there, but finding that first edge of stretch for your leg, then you can see if you can fold it a little bit deeper. Walk your fingers in front of you, as long as you can maintain that healthy spinal alignment. And again, if it's accessible, feel free to hook onto your toes and pull your toes towards you a little bit to get a deeper stretch in your calf muscles. Using your breath to deepen this stretch a bit more. From here, walk yourself back up. We'll come into our stargazer pose again. So really grounding into the earth firmly with our right palm, lifting up onto our right leg. Left arm extends, reaches overhead as we mini back bend towards the sky. One more mula bandha breath here. And exhale. Make your way back to the mat. We'll put both legs out in front of us for one more forward fold. So from here, bent knees again to start. Fingertips behind you so you can get your healthy spinal long, alignment, long spine. Walk yourself forward first. And then find where that edge of stretch is with both feet in front of you. Playing with that edge of stretch, and again, feel free to hook onto your feet if that is where you're at today. Take one last breath here in that forward fold stretch, and then we'll make our way onto our backs, come into our resting pose. First, hug your knees into your chest for a moment. You can circle them one way and then the other. And we'll do a star shavasana to end the class today. So legs out wide. You can take your arms in any position, star position you prefer, so they can be out uh, parallel. You can reach them up if that feels better to you. Just take up as much space on your floor as you want, sinking into the mat. Just taking all of that kind of cosmic energy and power that you have within you that you cultivated into the rest of the day and take a couple of uh, moments to just feel that breath and energy as you lay in this star position on your floor for, for a little while. I hope that you enjoyed that star flow. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again. So make sure, of course, that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you'll see when the new videos come up. I do also have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list, so make sure you are signed up there, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.